I have got four words for you. Chocolate covered fluffernutter cookies. Four words and only four ingredients. Marshmallow fluff, peanut butter, milk chocolate, and cookie. I used Pillsbury sugar cookie. That is fine. You could use their chocolate chip cookies. You could use any one you want, but I think the sugar cookies work the best. This is a test recipe. I had this idea. I wanted to try it out. So as the video goes, you'll see a few mishaps, but I refined the recipe along the way as far as the measurements and the technique, and I promise you, this is a very easy recipe. It's a lot of fun to make. I think kids would have fun making it with you. So I really hope you enjoy it, and uh, let's get baking. Okay, so now we're gonna start layering our cookies. We're gonna do peanut butter, then the marshmallow fluff, and then pour some lovely milk chocolate all over these bad boys. I'm gonna use a kitchen torch, and if you don't have one, you can use your broiler. Uh, just two things. One, make sure you spread enough marshmallow fluff to the edges so that the cookies don't burn under the broiler. And two, be careful. Just watch them, because these toast a lot faster than regular marshmallows. All right, let's start layering our peanut butter. You're gonna use about a teaspoon and a half, and you wanna spread it around nicely on the cookie. You don't want to use too much because peanut butter can be overpowering. Just a good layer like this right here. Next, we're going to add our marshmallow fluff. And this is kind of where things went sideways. I added way too much and it was hard to handle. It didn't come out very pretty. So you want to use about two tablespoons, which is enough to get a good solid layer and make them look a lot prettier than these came out. Now it's time to toast our marshmallows. Now I like to get a really nice dark brown color because that's where you're really going to taste the flavor. But that's up to you. You can kind of do a little lighter if you prefer. Now, when melting our chocolate, I did a makeshift double boiler, and this is what I prefer. I think it's the best method for melting chocolate. You can use the microwave, but make sure to heat in 30 second intervals. That way you can wash the chocolate. Sometimes melting chocolate in the microwave can, can create kind of a funky texture. Once the chocolate is fully melted, you want to transfer to some kind of glass for dipping. Now you want to get a layer of wax paper because this is where you're going to put the cookies once you dip them. We're going to start with one side first. So dip all the cookies as deep as you can get them, layer them out. Then we're going to put them in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes or until solid. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to dip the other side so both sides are coated. Once they're done, they're going to go back into the freezer for another 10 minutes so they're nice and solid, just like this. I know it may not look like there's a lot of peanut butter, but trust me, you can taste it. Mmm. -hmm. These are so good. Chocolate, marshmallow, peanut butter, and a cookie. You really can't go wrong with that combination. I mean, these are just great flavors. Yeah, they're super sweet, but it's awesome. It's indulgent. It's delicious. I really recommend toasting the marshmallow if you can. It really helps elevate the flavor. It's not overpowering. You taste it, it's there, but it really kind of brings all the other flavors together. It's so good. Honestly, this recipe is awesome. It's a lot of fun. I hope you all try it. Let me know how you like it if you do. The recipe link will be in the description, so please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and keep cooking.